Lisa Jobap, your doTERRA central oil girl. How you doing? Myself to the camera's going. Ugh, that's all good. It's all good. So I thought I'd finish my painting for you today. <laughs> Just because I left you hanging. Here's, here's what we ended up with yesterday. Remember, I'm coming up with a fall picture to put in my lineup for my art class that I do. And um, Annette commented on the last post. She actually is a doTERRA gal too, which is fun. And um, she talked about they're going to be adding the actual oils to the paint, which, which I have done before. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea for today. Um, today I'm going to add Balance. Balance is one of doTERRA's oils that helps you feel balanced. It smells yummy too. Um, and I'm just going to put a drop. I've got, I've got the colors I'm going to work with today to finish the tree. And I'm just going to put a couple drops. And yes, this is styrofoam. So if I left this oil sitting here, eventually it would eat through the styrofoam. Um, and oh, Lisa, what are you doing putting an oil in an acrylic paint? Well, actually, the oils, um, this one might have a little coat of oil in it. Let's see. The oils in it are not actually oily. If you, that's one of the ways to find out if you have a true essential oil, by the way, just pro tip. If you bought some oils off of Amazon and you have, um, you're not sure if they're true oils, A, they're not. Just saying. But one of the ways you can check is you can drop a drop in your hand and, you know, rub it in. And if it's got an oily film on it, then that's not a pure oil. That's got something else in it, which is either a, probably not a great thing to, to have if you're going to use it for therapeutic reasons. So that's, that's one of the ways to find out if you've got a true oil because it's a um, aro volatile aromatic compound, which means it basically evaporates almost as fast as you get it going. That's why you add coconut oil, but you do that yourself. Another story. Whenever you get signed up, we'll chat, we'll chat. It's the whole thing. Um, so, so on this here painting today, I don't want that one either. Here's one. Um, this, this thing here, remember I'm doing it for, for class and I don't know if it's going to work or not. And like I said, I put the oil in the thing and it doesn't, it's not oily. It's not going to mess with the paint. And it, it smells yummy while you're doing it. However, a true essential oil doesn't last forever. If you have a bar of soap that you bought that's lavender or, or shampoo, it's all natural. It's got natural. If you can still smell it after a few days, it's not. It's got some synthetic smell in it that makes it smell like lavender because true essential oils evaporate and disappear. I'm sorry. Just how it is. Just how it is. Okay, so they have a limb. And like I said, I just picked this picked this uh, picture out of the, off of Google. They got a black limb. So I'm going to just come off with this. And then they just got stuff coming off of it. Like another limb. Like that. That, let's see what they got something here, comes down like that, this goes off like this, off to the side like that, and they got all kinds of limbs coming off of this part, like that, just a bunch of little things, like a tree, it's like a tree, you know how trees have all these limbs and stuff coming off of it? Um, got a big one coming off of this side, and it goes down like that. Isn't this fun? I'm telling you, if you're making it hard, it's it's not, you're not having fun, then you're not doing it right. Because it, it doesn't matter. If, it, if it's not a photograph, it's okay to just play with it. All right, so this is my tree. Should I make more limbs? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of going over a little bit. I want this one to be a little bit fatter. It kind of looks like a blank. I don't know. Maybe you got a piece coming off of this thing over here. Maybe. 
kind of pointy it because you know the limbs don't actually curve or anything at the bottom but over here oh let's go way up here with this one obnoxiously so like that and it smells like balance so it's yummy i'm making that too fat let's do that oh wait she said too fat there's no such thing okay what else i don't know they got a bunch of limbs coming off so i'll just keep going there's a there's a reason for that, I guess. So come off of that. Okay. So fun thing with the tree I found is that um, you can highlight light off of it. This thing's got some cool looking things coming off of that, like that, like a random branch. I've seen those too. And if you look at a tree, it never looks exactly the way you would you would think it would be. So it's okay to look dorky because that's what trees do. They're just a little Mother Nature's gift thing. Okay. And I'm just do one big fat one over here because it feels like it needs something there. Okay. Okay, so here's the fun thing with the um, tree. It's just kind of basic it's a limb coming out that's what it's supposed to be anyway and i'm going to add a little tiny bit of white and for some reason the white gives a little bit of something something and may, mainly from the light source right maybe i should use a skinnier brush here's a skinny brush here's a skinny brush so just little strips. It's hard to do it with your with your old lady hands being steady. Not so much. I'm just gonna kind of do that. I've done it crooked like that. I think this one's a lot in the light, so I'm gonna do a lot of light. And some of these will be less light. Like that. Are y'all bored yet? That's okay. I could finish this somewhere else. So I'm just like, y'all might be curious. So, oh, she started that. Now what the heck is she going to do with it? Some of the light coming off of that. Ooh, it's dark over here. Ooh, ooh. Can't get to it. Trees are fun. Palm trees are really fun. They're easy. If y'all ever want to do a palm tree, I'll do you a palm tree. That's pretty silly. A little bit of white here because it's like, oh, there's a light hitting it there. Light hitting it there. Okay, yeah, that's good. It's a little bit of light coming here. A little bit of light. That's pretty dark, but I'll do a little light over here. A little light on this side because it looks like the light's coming from that side. More over there. More over there. A little light. A little light. A little light. Little light, a lot of light, little light. And don't forget, if I don't like this by the time I'm finished, I will just paint over the whole dang thing with white and <laughs> start over. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, so that's kind of the gist of what I'm going to do. See, the white kind of gives a little something, something. Um, and then they got little leaves. So let me let me find a paintbrush I like. This will probably work. And I'm gonna use the red, and I've still got the balance on there, so it smells just yummy. It's smelling yummy. And these are just gonna be apparently the little the little leaves. So this is our fall touch here. I'm gonna do red. Blop, 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 blop. Blop, blop, blop. It doesn't have to actually be on the tree. It can be anywhere near the tree. Blop, 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 blop. See? This is how you paint. It's so hard. And I'm telling you what, you can certainly make it very hard because I spent years making it ridiculously hard. It doesn't have to be, guys. And again, I'm painting this for my example of a fall um, 
painting for my class that's coming up here. At, um, I've got one this week at the office in Cocoa Beach, which is an actual place. It's on the second floor, which is kind of cool. They let us come in and do classes. You can also rent space from there, which is really cool by the hour, by the week or whatever. So if you're traveling to the area and need to work, you can literally go to an office space, get out of the hotel and go sit at office space. Okay. I'm, I like the red. So I'm going to keep them going on with the red. Okay. So blah, blah, blah. Just a few in there, just color, right? How about some? Maybe. How's that? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these. Okay. So there's my red. And then I covered up my paint from yesterday, so I still got it. And I'm just going to see if it'll let me block over some of these red with the orange right on top of it. Get a little bit more um, texture, I guess you could say. See? Block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. There's a lot of orange up here, so you can't really see this one. That's okay. Down here, we'll put some orange. Down here, we'll put some orange. Blop, 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 blop. The orange is showing up good in the dark spots. Don't forget, guys, um, the essential oils are my favorite thing. So if you ever have questions about the essential oils and what the heck they can do with them, if you can use them in your daily life, the answer is yes. You can use them for therapeutic reasons or just because they smell good but I would love to have a conversation with you if you get curious. I'm feeling like it's kind of naked up here. Okay, so I'm fixing to be done. <laughs> I'm fixing to be done. So I'm going to go with block blocks of yellow. Block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. Block, block. Blop, 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 blop. What do you think? Beautiful? Folly? Make you want to come to a painting class and learn how to be an artist? Be nice. Remember, I don't take criticism well. So if you've got something negative to say to me, don't, because it just hurts my feelings. I'm just trying to do the best I can. And you know what? We all got our little funky gifts. Mine is just being weird and sharing about being weird on the International Web of Death. All right. I'm going to put a little bit more up here, yellows. All right. I'm sure it could do a whole lot more, but what do you think? Folly? I could stand it like that. That looks cool, too. Or I could stand it like that. That could be limb coming down. Ta-da! All right. Oh, wait. They got some down here. Let me block some. Some reason they got blocks still on the bottom of it. Let's see if that makes it look good. I don't know where these... I guess it's coming from another limb. Let me block some red down there. Y'all were being so kind. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the wonderful feedback. I see y'all were going like, y'all, girl, I got nothing. You are just so talented. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to put a few more blocks in there. There you go. Okay. Yellow. Blah, 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 blah. What do you think? I'm going to stop now. That's the downside of painting. You always want to keep adding, keep adding. All right. I would love some feedback on this. Am I finished or should I paint over it white and start over again? All right, guys. Love you. I will check in tomorrow with some other fascinating video. All right. Have a good night. Bye. And.